Hey guys, welcome to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up if you think the video is decent. Um, for the rest of you, let's get into the video. Uh, today, we're going to be making my Extreme Fire Starter. Um, this one's a little time consuming. Um, not not huge, just depends on how many you decide to make. Uh, but they're great little things and I have a couple examples here for you today. As you see, I, I got a glass of ice water today and um, one I have is my extreme fire starter and the other one was my first attempt which is where I learned well how to make it better <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> it's just a regular waterproof fire starter so yeah, you know we'll start with the regular one you gotta take that out well now you're not gonna take it out hopefully it never comes to that maybe wipe it down a little bit but uh, with these you want to carefully unroll them if you can find the seam there it is because the tin foil actually catches or uh, acts as a catch for when the fire starter starts to melt so you uh, have a longer lasting flame so that's the regular one so you take these that's made with paraffin wax you just kind of make a little cup with it so that it it's able to to burn right now here's one of the examples of why i didn't go with these because you see right now when i'm cutting this you see what's wanting to happen it's just wanting to smash it's wanting to crumble i got pieces of it everywhere um it does not like the cold and the colder it gets this is only uh probably around 35 36 degrees so it's a, it's above freezing of course but uh needless to say it, it doesn't work good in the cold and it doesn't work good in the heat either uh paraffin wax wants to melt real easy so once you get the end cut you want to fluff some of the tender inside which is just some cotton because of course that's what we're going to use to catch the spark and then you set it down in there maybe I can fluff that a little bit more here's a piece that just broke off fluff that up real good Get your ferrocium rod, your match, your lighter, whatever. If you have a match or lighter, you don't have to fluff it so much. You just have to break it open to get to that cotton. Because without the cotton, it's a real pain in the butt to start. Um, so, let's see if I got the right end here. There we go. So, get up against that cotton. Give her a little strike. She'll go up in flames. Um, when these get hot, they want to melt and smush and they can lose their waterproofness. Now these on the other hand, these are, this one right here is my extreme weather. And this 110, 115, probably even 120, they're going to, they're going to hold together, um, and easily below freezing I, I honestly couldn't tell you how far but my uh my deep freezer sits around oh five degrees and uh it works right out of that freezer so now when i cut these you'll notice right away that it, it doesn't break apart it doesn't want to shatter there's no extra pieces down here anywhere right and with these you want to do the same thing you want to get to that inner cotton 
You want to fluff some out. All right. Once you got her fluffed, just put her right there in that. And start her up. A little spark will do. All right, so. Now the great thing about these is not only can they handle hot and cold, but they can also handle um, moisture. So like if it's damp, you're uh, in a um, rainforest, it's snowing, whatever, the sticks are uh, a little damp, your, your uh, grass is a little damp, and you might not be able to just light it with a lighter because it, it takes so much heat to dry it out a little bit and you start to kill the lighter, burn your finger, a match won't do, regular fear seam rod won't do. These things last so long that they will literally dry the tender out and get the fire going um, and you'll see because I'm gonna let them burn the whole time until uh, we get through this video. So if these interest you, what you're gonna need for these, of course, back to the cardboard with parchment paper or wax paper. I always recommend the parchment so you can tape it to the cardboard so it stays nice and smooth and easy to work with. <clears throat> All right. You're gonna need two tin cans this time, guys. All right, two tin cans. You'll need your pot of water, okay? Uh, you will need petroleum jelly and you will need beeswax. Oops, all right, that's what's in here is beeswax. All right, and uh, you'll need bamboo skewers. You can try other sticks, but I recommend these because they're strong and they're cheap. Um, they are uh, easy to be able to poke into something that's a little bit resistant without wanting to break. Um, and last but not least, you're going to need these, these cotton rolls. All right, and you can get these on Amazon, and I'm not going to leave a link. They're called cotton rolls, and the reason being is anywhere from 50 to 1,000, you know, you can get them in so many different numbers. It just depends on how many you're going to want to do. So they're just little cotton rolls. If you've ever been to the dentist, you're probably familiar with these. You know, they're what they use to stop the bleeding inside of the mouth. Uh, do not get the sterilized ones. They're too expensive for this. Just get the regular ones and um, everything will be all right. Um, so uh, the other thing you're going to need is a little bit of tin foil and that's to wrap them up in. Uh, you can get the paraffin wax if you really want to, but if you really want it to be an extreme weather versus just a, a waterproof fire tender, and I can't even guarantee the waterproof because it always wants to smush when it's too hot and it wants to shatter when it's too cold, which could break the wax seal and not allow it to be waterproof anymore. On the other hand, the beeswax, that's, that's just not going to happen. Um, it would have to get like liquid nitrogen cold is uh, from what I'm understanding for it to want to get shatterish. Um, and on the other end, when it gets really, beeswax is just incredible. Uh, I, I recommend if I, uh, well, I know I've said it before, I'm going to do it again. Get beeswax as a prepper. It, it's important. It's 
great for many, many, many things. Um, anything from fire starters to ceiling cans to uh, waterproofing things. You can make lip balms out of it. You can make chafing cream out of it. Uh, I mean, there's so much you can do with it. I mean, that's just a small, off the top of my head, rambling going on of what you can do with, with beeswax. So just, it, they, they sell it all over the place. You can find it on Amazon, in health stores. Um, you know, you can just Google it. There's probably so many places out there that, that sell it. So, uh. Guys, this is probably uh, one of the best fire starters out there. I mean, even compared to store-bought. I mean, some people might argue that uh, wet fire is better. And yeah, you can literally catch wet fire on fire and, and do it on top of water floating. Yes, I get that. Um, but how many of us are really going to be in that circumstance? This is waterproof, and if you're worried about snow, this tin foil here will protect it if you make the cup just right from uh, wanting to snuff out as it melts the snow. Um, so there, the the downside to wet fire is you get about a maximum of five minutes burn. I mean, some people would say that's enough, but if your fire tender that you're trying to start your actual fire with is damp and you need to get it dried, this is going to do a better job than wet fire because you'll be able to dry, you know, actual twigs, not just grass, and then hope that you have enough grass dried to start the twigs, which is kind of hard to do. Um... As you can see, the other great thing about with the beeswax is you can see this one's already burning out now. Granted, I started this one probably about, what, a minute earlier, a minute and a half earlier. But watch your guys' clock. Watch how much longer than a minute, minute and a half, two minutes this one's going to burn. This one's going to burn probably for, oh, another three to five minutes easily, if not longer. Um... These usually average about 7 to 10 minutes, and these usually average 10 to 15 minutes uh, with the beeswax. It makes a, a huge difference. And I actually coat these with wax five times, and I only coat these with wax uh, four times. So even with the more wax, it's still less burning time. Um, so... When it comes to spending the extra money on beeswax, it, it, it definitely it definitely is worth it. it it's worth getting it um, for so many different aspects. Um, it just does a better job for just about any wax out there. I mean, I'm sure there is some sort of man-made wax out there that's super great, and I don't know about it, but it's probably more expensive than this stuff, <clears throat> than beeswax. Um, to get just a little bit greater wax. Uh, but I think God did a great job with the bees and what they can do with their honey and their wax and everything else. Uh, or just the fact that they can fly. <laughs> Science still can't wrap their head around that one, right? How the bee flies. <laughs> um, so... This video is getting a little long, but I wanted you to actually see how long these fire starters uh, go for, and I'm just trying to ramble things off um, so that you can actually get a true idea of how great the beeswax is, uh, how great this fire starter is, and how much it's actually worth investing to do this fire starter, because everything you're going to get for it, other than the cotton rolls, which actually you can double the cotton rolls, you can put them in your... Uh, med supply kit or whatever for uh, just absorbing blood or, um, I mean, who really cares? I mean, your mouth's a dirty place anyways. What do you need them sterile for? Uh, you know, put them in there, use them when you're done, rinse out with mouthwash and sterilize your mouth after it. Whatever, you know, 
pick or choose. I mean, I don't know um, how far you're willing to, you know, bend the germ rule when it comes to shit hit the fan. Uh, so, um, guys, if you like what you see, please consider liking, subscribing, um, leaving comments below. If you have any questions, um, you can do that in the comment or comment box, or if, you know, you're somebody who doesn't like to put yourself out there, you can email me at pennypinchingprepper77 at gmail. Um, I'm more than willing to answer questions. I have time to do so. Uh, with all that being said, um, I want you to remember that times are getting rough and things are getting hard. So prep now and prep hard. Um, the only other thing I can uh, really think to say as this flame finally dies, it's getting just a little teeny tiny flame down there uh, is remember God's good and God bless you. <clears throat>